at a place called uh, Terralyn Village. I'll spell it out in here. Like that. You uh, find some notes on some uh, buildings about a job offer. And you guys all meet up there. You guys don't know each other. Um, you guys just all happen to meet up here. Except for uh, my character and uh, uh, Martin's. You guys find this guy. He invites you all into his house, and uh, he mentions that he's a trader to the nearby town called Orthorn. I'll spell that as well. But um, he said recently uh, the people he's been sending to bring goods there to sell never came back. Uh, he's wondering if there's some kind of bear or something interrupting the path there. And he wants you guys to go investigate it, and if you guys can, uh, get rid of the problem. What is his name again? Oh, sorry, his name is Brinson. I'll spell that as well. Like that. And uh, he gives you that job offer to all of you. Uh, he, he says that's as many people as he needs to complete this. And... Uh, he says there is a, a payment if you guys bring back some kind of proof, like a like a animal hide or something that you killed to prove that the enemy that is killing his men that he sends to Orthorn can prove that they are no longer a problem. You'll see seem honest and trustworthy. Yeah, make a, a an insight check to see if he is being truthful. Got? Uh, grab a d20 and roll it, and then you'll have your insight modifier on your page. Yeah, I will have that. This is the 20. Let me roll as well. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Real quickly again, for the skill section of my character sheet, is that just the modifiers or the actual numbers? That what was that again? Sorry. For, the, for all the skills, do you just put the modifiers in there plus any skill bonuses? Uh, yeah. If uh, all of your skills are the modifiers from, you know, strength, dexterity. Right, right, Unless right, you're right. proficient with them. Got then it. Then you add the proficiency bonus as well. Thank you. Oh. So, seven and then plus two for the insights. That's nine. nine. You're not really used to reading people, their behavior, but um, he doesn't necessarily seem like he's holding back any information. From your judgment, you can tell he, you, you think he's being truthful. But knowing yourself, you're not very uh, yeah. <laughs> proficient with <laughs> any sort of wisdom. <laughs> um, he asked you guys if you have any questions at all about the about this. Actually, he he wants to know who you guys are first. You guys tell him your names. Uh, my character mentions his name as Avris Noctora. My character mentions his name as Hanok. I should also um, ask for um, classes as well. All right. Actually, on the stream, it displays it, doesn't it? Yeah. Fred's got okay. a nice overlay for that. Okay. Then we can just say the names then. Corian. Character character's, in? Na character's name is Hanok. Can I ask questions? Uh, after everybody okay. uh, says a name. Uh, Sir Mike Oxlon. <laughs> <laughs> His name is a tiefling for anybody here. No, it's Mike Oxlon. He's not going to trust him. I turn to and snigger a little. <laughs> At the sight of Eli, he's not very like intimidated, but he's a little off-put by his horns, his tail, and the pupilless eyes that stare into him. <laughs> so does being a tiefling. Anyway... Have I gone yet? Is it just me left? You're left, yeah. Uh, get my name. <laughs> I tend to forget sometimes. <laughs> Tarnum? Is that what it was? Tarnum Havelock. I started yep. to run out towards the rest of the group. I'm very good with people. <laughs> um, we have the shortest character, which is the gnome. And then I think uh, Lack is the tallest out of all of us. 
So Don't there's judge. that to know. <laughs> you chose a no. I'm taller than Eli. I, I don't know Eli's height, actually. I didn't have it written down, so I just put like 5'7". Okay. I oh, think Black's like 6-something. Six 6'1". Six you actually look down at the gnome, like a good about uh, two, <laughs> three feet higher than him. It's just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is the group that you guys have for this uh, particular uh, adventure, if you want to call it. I'll tell you know that the gnome aced the tutorial mission, so... <laughs> <laughs> Black one-shotted one, so... I guess that's because it was asleep. Technically, probably two, but... <laughs> I helped. Did you say you had um, some questions laid out for him? I did. So we're going to, uh, what was, I'm sorry, what kind of place was it that these people disappeared? Uh, on the path from this little village, Terralyn village, to the main city, Orthorn. Uh, they ha at Orthorn, the people that were supposed to receive the goods, they never caught them. So What kind of goods were they shipping? General goods. He's a, just a general uh, salesman. Swords, Any books, spells, history books. He's not really one to sell, um, like any magical items. Well, not just magical items, but history books, anything with knowledge. Well, he's like a general, so he'd probably have something, a little mm. bit of everything, kind of thing. I'm slowly becoming less interested in this. <laughs> Why would he think it's a bear and not bandits? It, it was just a suggestion. He's not sure what it is. Because he's never seen it. He's just giving you some suggestions on what it might be. Is he shipping food? Is that why he thinks it might be a bear? <laughs> uh, said some of it. Yeah, general. So like, he has, just has a wagon of some general goods that he sends there. Bear just seems like a weird thing to suspect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bears. This is a forest. So bears are um, pretty common around here. Especially owl bears. he says. They're pretty scary. Oh, well, owl bears, okay. Ah, of course, owl bears. They're just bear. He describes them. They're just bears, but with an owl face. If you guys can imagine that. I can't for some reason. Some of you might not believe him, but he swears that the, there are owl bears in the forest. I'm like a librarian who has like a lot of random knowledge. Would I know anything about owl bears and whether they're native to this forest? Yeah. Good roll. Um, History check. Uh, so roll your d20 and roll, add your history bonus. Ooh. Five uh, plus history. Uh, something history. Uh, I have a plus six proficiency, I think, in history. Is that on top of my normal? Because I have a. Because uh, history is. Um, history is int. So I have a, I have a natural plus four. Uh, then plus your proficiency, so it'd be plus six, right? Yeah. Do I get the get the one proficiency bonus for wisdom? I have a uh, plus two proficiency bonus to wisdom and int. Does that apply no, as well? No, that's for um, saving, saving throws. Throw. Okay, so that'd be yeah. I think it's. Let me just double check. Eleven. So yeah, I think it's yeah. Uh, Arcana, investigation, history, religion, all proficient plus six for all. So that'd be plus ten. So that'd be fifteen, right? Oh no! Um, when you're proficient with the skill, you uh, it's your bonus. So intelligence in this case, plus a proficiency bonus, which is plus two. So all those skills will be plus six to any roll you make. Oh right, 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 right. Okay. So in this case, it'd be eleven. Okay. Um, you have studied a lot of creatures, um, especially with your background. You 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 have heard of owl bears. They they do exist. Uh, they do tend to hide deep in forests, and occasionally they'll reside around pathways to uh, catch any travelers that uh, aren't armed. And they, they're they very ferocious. They will attack almost anything in sight. So, like, they're like giant angry raccoons. Okay. <laughs> Basically. Uh, okay. All right. Um... Well, I guess I don't know everything about them, so I guess studying them would be interesting to me, so I'm slightly more interested now. Yeah. Any other questions you guys have? Or do you guys uh, wish to take this? Out of game question, 
What yeah. is the environment like? What does it look like? Are we north? Are we south? Is it really hot? Or is it really cold? It's a forest biome. Uh, in in relation to the city, you're more uh, more south, but a little bit west as well. This village is very small, um, right. but from your knowledge of the being to the city Orthorn, you know it's slightly bigger than this. Uh, it is a little chilly, um, but they don't get a lot of snow here. And I would say it's it's around like 10 to 11 a.m. right now for relation. Right. Good to know. Anyone else have any other questions for uh, Brinson at all? No? Nope, I'm good. All right. Um, he says he will, for the reward, of course, since you guys are going to get paid for this, he will give you um, 300 gold, however you wish to split that. Um, he also says there might be uh, another task, um, which if you do, I'll, I'll actually bring it up to 600 uh, that you can split between you all. But for since it might be a little bit dangerous, I will also provide you with a three minor potions of healing. Uh, nice. th there are red vials, or vials with uh, reddish liquid inside them. Um, you guys have seen potions of healing before. These are very basic. Um, I will give you the specific uh, amount to heal later when you guys use them. But uh, you guys right. can split that up however you want. He gives you those to you right now. Mm, I'm the squishiest, but I should be in the back. And I only have eight hit points, I believe, because I don't get an armor class because I'm a mage. So <laughs> probably should give it to our frontline people. One to one. Time. My character, my character says uh, that he's a healer. So he, unless there are any extra, he's okay with giving it to the upfront fighters as well. So. So I think we give it to Lack and Fret and um, Eli. Eli. So each of you can put um, in your inventory, you can put one uh, potion of healing. Is that my equipment box? Uh, yeah, and it should be uh, in the center, but on the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm making progress on this character sheet. Yes, you guys, if you're uh, interested in making some more gold on top of that, or do you just want to just do this and go on your way? What do you think, uh, for us? Wait, you mean he'll tell us the second task now? Yeah, it, it's on the way, so. What's the second task? Uh, he mentions he has a, a slight debt to someone, Orthorn. He just needs you to send, bring a payment to her. And uh, when you get back, he will um, he will double the money. And he does require proof, like right. he, like a note from the person, the receiver, to let them know. Uh, he mentions the name of the person. I'll spell it out here, too. Okay. So yeah. is this person in the town then that we're go like, because I know we're going on the way, like the, the people were killed right on the way, yeah. or disappeared on the way. And so is this person in the town that they were supposed to get to? Yes. Okay. Well. It's just an old uh, longtime friend that he if, knows. If we happen to find the goods, uh, what do we do with them? Does he, does he want us to try to deliver them or are they ours to take or? If you bring them back, he will, he will give you some some sort of extra payment. He, he would appreciate that. He's actually giving you guys a, a wagon with some empty crates to make it look like you guys are uh, more people delivering goods. Okay. So you guys don't look like a bunch of random travelers. Okay. And you can also, guys can also um, store some items on that if you are over encumbered. Any other questions you guys have? We have to decide if we're going to take the extra job, right? Yes. yes. I think we should take the extra job. Seems simple enough. Yeah. He does mention it is double the money, so. I'll leave it to you, Bruce. Is any of us, like, evil or would be likely to steal the money and not deliver it to the person? <laughs> <laughs> My character has a 
keen look in his eye and he says, I'm taking it. <laughs> so he's not the one to hold the money. Who's, uh, we do have any lawful good? Can't ask that. Oh. My, my character's going to try to persuade you that, uh, he is uh, very trustworthy with money. Go ahead and make a, an insight check. Uh, that's a d20, right? Yes. And then add your insight bonus. Let me just check mine. Oh, 17. And my insight bonus is plus one because it's wisdom. So 18 total? You look at my character, and uh, he has a pretty wicked grin on his face as he says he's trustworthy <laughs> with this money. Uh, you get the feeling it's in better; it can be in better hands. <laughs> mm. Well, uh, I think I'm going to keep the gold unless there's an objection. I'm not. Oh, I should know mention the gold. <laughs> wow! Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> So <laughs> oh, let's all know have the gold. Is that what he said? <laughs> I yep. should carry the money. Mm. He does mention and the payment is not actually money. Uh, he hands, or he's asking who to hand it to the payment. Well, what's the payment first? Because that might determine it. It is it's a, like a uh, giant sword. I'm gold and sap. It's a gold uh, necklace with a pretty decent sized uh, sapphire. Embedded in the middle. I yeah, probably gonna... have the most defense. It's best I carry it. Uh, I don't know about that. Go ahead I'm... and make a, like, go ahead and make a persuasion roll. Well, and if uh, Lego, me? you want to as well. <laughs> well, is he gonna <laughs> persuade me or intimidate me? <laughs> uh, Black is gonna try to persuade uh, Brenson to give the amulet to him. And if you want to make a persuasion roll as well, you can. Uh, charisma. Eleven. Eleven. And my modifier for persuasion is my charisma. Might it be a two? Mine would be twelve. Or mine would just be eleven. <laughs> but I also mine have. Uh, I'd rather do intimidation because I have a bonus on that. <laughs> I figured you were going to intimidate Branson. I'm going to intimidate him to with a twelve. I have right. A plus one modifier. You can try to intimidate Lack. Uh, so you got twelve. It would be a 13, if you want to, it. but I also have a personality trait that I can stare down a hellhound without flinching. <laughs> that sounds like you. Uh, clearly, though, I'm doing all the talking, to... so clearly I must be party leader in his mind, right? <laughs> Not necessarily. Lack did slightly beat you on this. Uh, Lack stares him directly in the eyes and says <laughs> give me the amulet me. you, you can't make, trust a gnome I make the point of I'm not trying to stare you down and intimidate you <laughs> I don't and, know how this intimidation really works <laughs> and uh, you know if you give it to him you're never gonna it's never gonna get to its destination I was the only one who asked about the uh, extra task Speaking placing my hand on the hilt of my sword <laughs> at this point <laughs> you see a Pointing out that I have a, I mentioned, casually face. mentioning I have a sleep spell. <laughs> Benson looks kind of worried about the people here. <laughs> He's second guessing this. Right. All right. I'm backing down for the Look, sake he of needs it protected. He needs something killed. Clearly, at least I... three of us are the people to do that. All right, all right. So for the sake of the mission, I'm going to let Lack have it, but I'm going to ask him <laughs> if I can inspect it first. To, with my arcana to make sure it isn't like magical or something. Yeah, go ahead and make another persuasion check. So, about to hand to Lack. Just, <laughs> well, well, if Lack just agrees, do we have to roll for it or? Uh, he's about to hand it to Lack, and he's not well, really no, trusting I'm, just, I mean, right I'm, I'm letting him hand it to Lack. I'm not arguing that now. I'm letting. Yeah, you can ask him. Lack if he. I'm just, wants I'm just to casually right now. I'm just casually asking Lack. Hey, can I? You know, you can hold it, but can I, you know, check it to make sure it isn't magical or something? I'm fine with that. Okay. All right, okay. I'm going to do a roll. That would be Arcana, right? Yes. Six. Ugh. 
I have a plus six modifier, so it's 12 at least. That's pretty good. Uh, from your experience with the magical pro properties and items, it doesn't seem magical in any way that you can tell. Seems inert. All right. You never it know. Seems like seems, it seems valuable, but not magical. All right. I let Lack have it. I bet Lack is satisfied. All right. Do you guys have any other questions for him? Anything you want to know? I want to nudge Averus in the side and just give him a little smile. <laughs> <laughs> and then look towards Lack. I'm All right. On my way. All right. He uh, ushers you guys out of his house. Uh, he brings the wagon around. Uh, it is pulled by a regular horse. Uh, if one of you guys want to sit on it, you can. But uh, for the purpose, it is just pulling the wagon. I will sit on the horse so I don't have to use up my little gnome feet to walk around. Uh, is there a general store or anything for supplies? Like, Does any of us need supplies? Um, I, I assume you guys don't even have a lot of money, but uh, I do. there's I like an inn gold. here. Oh. 150 gold, remember? I'm rich. Brinson says there aren't really any general stores here, but in Orthorn there are. Uh, but there is an inn here if you guys need to sleep at any time. Well, I just don't have a survivalist kit. I only have the scholar's kit, so that was just what I was looking to buy for 10 gold. Does he happen to have one? Uh, let me see. Uh, that's like the bedroll and everything, because I don't have a bedroll at this point, I don't think. Ooh, looks like you'll be uh, sleeping on the floor. Uh, <laughs> I could sleep. Whatever. Life of a scholar. Why are you sleep on the horse? Oh, by the way, it's... Very hey, difficult for you to get on the horse. Uh, it's... <laughs> do you have to do a roll for this? Yeah, go ahead and make a general a general dexterity roll to see if you can boost your... Actually, this will be athletics. Sorry. Roll athletics instead. 14. Uh, but I think I have a negative 2 to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Yes, I have a negative 2 to my strength. So uh, that's a 12. Is that good enough to get on a horse? You guys see uh, this... Fairly small gnome try to <laughs> jump up over and over onto the horse. <laughs> Eventually he gets it, but you guys are kind of not impressed by his skills. <laughs> he kind of like looks around to see if anyone was looking at that, and uh, all of you guys were looking. Can, can they roll perception checks to see if they notice? Yeah. Can I just grab him and sit him on there? No, you gotta roll perception. <laughs> <laughs> they might not have seen it. Yeah, you can roll perception. I, don't, I want perception rolls. <laughs> well, he just brought the horse out, uh, and you all immediately right, got I'm on gonna, it. I'm not gonna actually make him roll. You're right; they saw it. They saw it. <laughs> I got up there on my own volition. Lack did not help me though. You see my character slightly face palm at your attempts, and he just says, "Let's let's just go." <laughs> I'm gonna comfort the horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, just as a pre-campaign thing, uh, since I am a rock gnome, I get those little annoying trinket things. The trinkets? Is uh, that, oh, that's probably a class it's or... An, it's a gnome thing. I can choose... Since I'm a deep gnome? No. Uh... Yeah, as a rock gnome, I can check the player's handbook if you want it. I do remember this. Here. So it's a cl yeah, so I have, I can choose between, I can have a device. Uh, it's, uh, you, have, you have proficiency with artisan's tools, tinker's tools. Use, using those tools, you can spend one hour and 10 uh, gold points worth of materials to extract a tiny clockwork device. Can I just assume that I've done this beforehand? Or do I need to do it in campaign? Uh, you could do it either one uh, in your past travels. If you're kind, of, if you're trying to do it with someone in the party, uh, like it make a a doll of them or something like that. Uh, you know, what, it yeah, will, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you can I'm do gonna, it now. You know, what, um, no, you know, what, I'm gonna wait because there's some fun role play with that. It, forget I said anything. I apologize. <laughs> Let's go. I saw like your uh, <laughs> tabletop picture. Oh, is it a uh, perseverance dog? <laughs> it is. 
All right, so let me see. My, my, my aunt Chihuahua has diabetes now. <laughs> <laughs> How does a dog get that? My mother's like, my mom's telling me about this. She's like, um, how does how does both of her dogs end up getting diabetes? I'm like, I wonder. <laughs> oh, um, as you guys are about to leave, Branson comes back down and says, wait, uh, he feels like he didn't give you enough information about this uh, uh, person since you guys took that quest to deliver the amulet. He says her name is his Katya, uh, but uh, she's a part of the the root council you can either find her in the in the castle there in orthorn or you could find her at her home she's in one of the taller buildings uh in, in that city for reference and then he uh, lets you on your way so now he goes away 